Come in, all of you. Sit down. Now I know you stole Bell's ring. Father, how can you accuse us? Now I thank you for it. Without the ring, she cannot return to the Beast's castle. And if she does not return, he will die. Now understand this. Whatever she says or does, you must not be told. Yes, Father. You say he will die? Yes. He will die. And what could be better? Once he's dead, we can use the ring to return to his castle. And we can claim his fortune for ourselves. But don't worry, Belle. You'll have everything you had there. Only this time your family can share it with you. You are not my family. But that loathsome beast is, I suppose. That loathsome beast never lied to me. He has shown me nothing but love and trust. I will not betray him now. Father, you must stop her. She'll warn him. Don't worry. She cannot find him. But where will she go? She will take a long, tiring ride. And return home. Stop worrying. She's taking the horse into the stable. Shall I go and help her now? No. Belle has been a very brutal daughter. We won't help her until she comes to us for help. Susan and Lucy, you must act like a mother. Strict, but loving. We will, Father. I could have sworn the stone was blue when we found it. Now it's so murky and grey. It's your wax and skin which gives it that shade. Let me try it on. Put it on the table. Better Belle doesn't see you with it for a while. May I see it, Anthony? I suppose there's no harm in your looking. To me. No, it's mine. It belongs to me. No, Nick, that's not the way. Put it down. Uh, hand it over, Belle, or the boy will suffer for it. Don't listen to him, Belle. Uh, I can take anything he gives me. Here. Now release him. Uh. You're very brave, Anthony. Enough of your wise remarks. No, I'm very serious. There are not many men who would hold that ring. Why not? Because if you hold it one moment longer, you will be transported to the Beast's castle. Lucy, pick it up. No, it's your turn to wear it. It's Sunday.
I will leave you now. But do not think that I will let you hurt Nicholas. If he is harmed in body or spirit by any of you, I will be back and I will not be alone. Belle, you wouldn't! Not the beast here! There's nothing that I would not do to protect my brother. Lucy and Susan, try to find the courage to be kind. You are my sister, so I must forgive you. But I warn you, never again meddle in what you do not understand. What don't we understand, Bill? The power that can make this happen. She's here. Our law. I should not have stayed for more than one day. I should never have trusted them. It's my fault, and I'll never forgive myself. No, no. I'm content to die. I've seen you again. I'm happy. No, that's not possible. Does not Aristotle teach us that happiness lies? the end of things. I will not speak of Aristotle or of Kratos on the moon. We will speak of life. Dear gentle eyes, you will live. We will dance and we will play. I'm too weak. Now, I will slay a deer for you and you will regain your strength. Beast, I order you to live. If you die, I will die, too. I promise you. I will follow you to heaven or to hell or wherever they send such foolish furry creatures as yourself. But I will not abandon you. Oh, listen to me. Listen to me. You must live. Oh, dear God, please let him. You must live. that I might marry you. <laughs> Who are you? Don't you know me, Belle? What have you done with Beast? The Beast is dead. I'm all that remains of it. You've released me from my enchantment. I do not understand. Bell, when I first came to the throne, I believed only in riches and power and pride. I did not believe in love. Because of this, I was cursed and forced to assume the shape of a hideous beast until a beautiful woman freely would consent to marry me. You are that woman, Belle. Don't you believe me? I would like to believe you. There's a difference between what I like and what is true. Well, test me. You are a beast. By what names did I call you? Ah, uh, Sir Gentle Eyes. Mm -hmm. My Lord Magic, ah, yes, and uh, my love. What was the color of the rose that Beast gave me the day I left? Blue. As blue as your eyes. Oh, no. 
Beast would never resort to such foolish flattery as that. Ask me anything. I'm free to answer all your questions now. What games did we play in the maze? Hide and seek. And in the dining chamber? We told stories and we danced. My dear, you must admit I've passed all your tests. Surely, if you can love that beast, you can love me. You are vain. I'm human. Indeed. Does that mean, then, that we shall quarrel, wound each other, be jealous? Will we lie, break our vows? Never. <laughs> no. Beast would never lie to me that way. Beast would never love you this way. Will you consider a passion stronger than pity? I will try, my lord. 